Okay, so what we're gonna do today uh, is an idea I got from a YouTuber. She used holographic paper to sublimate on a shirt. So the things that we're gonna need is holographic vinyl, heat transfer, a uh, sublimation print, and a shirt. Let's forget we're gonna need heat tape, a uh, heat press, obviously, and butcher paper and our Teflon sheet. So I'm going to be using this tank top that is 100% polyester. Yes, I could have sublimated on top of it, but I wanted to, I thought that this would be a nice fit for this color shirt. The idea of this technique is to actually be able to attach the holographic paper to a cut in a color shirt and also give it a cool texture. Again, what we're going to need is our shirt, our sublimation design, and our holographic paper. I'm using the small holographic design. We, I also have the other one that is this bigger type of glitter um, holographic and that's going to be used for this design right here. So let's get to the heat press. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the shirt and load it onto this heat press. This heat press is set up at 395 at this moment. The range for the sublimation should be 385 to 400. I just got, I like 395, it's working really, really well for me. So that's what I have it set at, at 60 seconds. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. The holographic vinyl is going to be applied for three seconds, just enough to attach it to the shirt and peel it off. Then we're going to go in and line up the sublimation design and put it on top and give it the right time. That is 395 at 60 seconds, my setting. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to try to set up the camera in a way that you guys can see. Um, so I'm doing this by myself, so I apologize if the view is not the best. We got our shirt here. First thing, I'm going to make sure that I remove any plastic, any stickers, anything that the shirt have. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to use the rubber mat to actually get it in between the shirt. That It didn't work out that well for me because it actually stretched your shirt, but the idea was to cover that size sticker that it has on the back since it is tagless. If you actually don't put anything to protect it, it actually sticks to the heat press or to whatever your nylon or whatever you have on top without protection. Best solution to that problem will be to either have a pillow or actually keep one of those. The leftover when you do HTV vinyl, that clear thing you peeled off, you can keep one of those around. Just keep it on anything with like wax paper and uh, just use that to cover that section of the shirt. Another reason why I decided to do this was because I wanted to avoid some wrinkles since it is polyester and any wrinkles that is created by the heat press would actually make it permanent. You will have a permanent wrinkle uh, so we're gonna heat it up real quick to uh, get rid of any moisture and make it smooth and now I'm gonna do my HTV it was cut off at the same size of eight and a half by eleven actually it was a little bit bigger because I didn't use my uh, cutter to do this I didn't want to go all the way up to get it done but I'm pretty sure you can do eight and a half by eleven and it will be completely fine so I'm not going to leave that much space on the top because it's a tent up and it sits kind of low. So we're going to, again, press it for three seconds and release it. Okay, so we got our three seconds. Now we're going to peel. And as you're going to see, I always peeled away, not up. So carefully peel it up if you see it, that it start coming all together with the, you know, that it's not sticking. Just let it cool off but this one was a hot peel so okay so I did put a attach four pieces of heat tape now I'm gonna line this up as best as I can it came out really good compared to So I put the design there. I'm gonna I put my butcher paper. That is very important because it will it will go through 
the paper itself and then it will stain your protective sheet. So now we're gonna do 60 seconds. Same temperature. All right, so our 60 seconds are up. All right, I'm gonna try to one hand this thing. So remove this and our paper and crossing our fingers is gonna be right. Look at that, look at that. So if the borders would have been cut precisely, still a cool shirt, but still has a little, that's for me, so it doesn't matter. But yep, there we go. So you can sublimate on holographic paper. So next one is gonna be Look at this, this is so cool. So next one is gonna be this guy right here. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like the video. So now I'm gonna put four fingers. I'm gonna line it up. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna press it down for three seconds. So pull it down a little bit. And this is how I always feel. I always feel away, not up, because it will stretch out the material. We're gonna get our image together. So just so you know, if you don't, happen to have heat tape what I'm gonna use is a sheet that I took off from this vinyl transfer and I'm gonna use the second sheet that I got from this one and there you go I'm just gonna place it where I what I want it to be and there's another option instead of having heat tape or if you don't have heat tape you're in a pinch you have a quick option to change it We're gonna use some butcher paper and some Teflon sheet. And I'm gonna give it again the 60 seconds at 395. So I got a little piece of vinyl right at the corner. Uh, I was able to peel it off right away, but there you go. Here is how it looks. You can barely notice how it, uh, you can barely appreciate it, but on the white and the bright colors, it works better. The background was black. So this with a really bright color is going to be nice. So now I had to wash them, wash them because I tried the tan top the, um, yesterday and I noticed it was really tough. I really didn't, didn't like the feel of it. But, um, yeah, I will get back to you and let you know how that turned out. Okay, so it has been over a week since I recorded that video. I put this shirt on the wash, and as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but the shirt kind of lost the brightness of the colors. One ton, second one is the feeling of the vinyl. Doesn't feel really good, um, and it's uncomfortable as hell. I will call this attempt to sublimate on holographic vinyl a fail in the sense of I don't know if with a couple of washes the color will completely fade away and this is just gonna end up like a big rectangle holographic uncomfortable vinyl. Two is uncomfortable again so I guess I had to try it so you guys didn't. If it stays like this then it will be something cool to do for like lettering putting some uh, letters down or across a shirt, something that is not going to be one flat piece of something, a rectangle or circle. I, I think the feeling of it is my deal breaker. 
I don't like how it feels and the fact that I don't know if it is gonna wash off with the next couple of washes that is it I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you like this kind of this kind of videos about t-shirts decals crafting and all kinds of stuff like that don't forget to like the button subscribe and ring the notification bell so every time I upload a new video you get notifications now thank you for your time and see you next video bye